remember back when I was like in grade seven, grade eight, and we started with exponents. And I remember thinking, ooh, we're doing exponents. And you feel so like cool, like, oh, wow, check mom, dad, we started exponents now. And some of us were really scared. I remember I was a little bit terrified. Like we always heard that there's these things called exponents. And um, so, yeah, I'm glad we're here because now we get to start with exponents right from the very beginning. And so let me try to explain how to use these bad boys. Okay, <laughs> They're not that difficult. So they're quite fun, actually. So um if you take, uh, let's say you take two to the power of four, okay? And let's say we say multiply by two to the power of six. Well, no, let's use three. Now, what we do, remember in our previous lessons, we learned how to expand this. Do you remember that? Well, if you remember, we know that this one is the number two four times, yeah? And this one, is the number two three times. And so if you just put all of that together, can we see that we now have the number two seven times? So that's the answer. But now, this is gonna take us a little bit too long if we have to go write it out like that every time. Because what if I gave you two to the power of 100 multiplied by two to the power of um, 10? We can't go write this out a hundred times. Well, technically we could, but by the time the teacher says, but you're benched down, the exam is finished. You are literally gonna have finished one question because you're just gonna be writing that a hundred times. So there has to be a better way to do this. So can you see the connection over there? Well, well done if you realize that what we do is the following. When these two numbers are the same, I want you to leave them like that. Don't make it two times two and say, oh, Kevin, that's four. We're not saying two times two. If it was two times two, that would be four. But there's, it's, this, is not, this is two to the power of four and two to the power of three. So the rule is when these two are the same, leave them. Leave it alone, okay? That's the part that a lot of learners don't understand. They want to change that to a four. Just leave it. And then what can we do with these two numbers so that it does that? Well, you add those two numbers, you add them. So four plus three. And so what's our answer? Two to the power of seven. So what is the rule here? When the base, now what's the base? The base is the bottom number. B for bottom, base, bottom, <laughs> so base, when the base, the bottom number, is the same, then leave the base and add exponents, okay? I know in class your teacher might be doing some crazy ass stuff like AMAN equals AM plus N. Come on, we don't have time for that. That's just weird. We can rather teach us in a different way. Okay, so... Hope that that makes sense what we've done so far. Okay, now let's move on. So what's it gonna be? Well, when the bases are the same, leave the base. What do we do with the exponents? Add them. So what's that? Eight. If you are still feeling a bit weird about that, but you're more comfortable with saying that that is two times two times two times two times two, and this one, is two times two times two, and then just put a times in between them. You can do it like that for now, but eventually I want you to upgrade to be able to do it like this, okay? So how many twos do we now have? Eight. You see, it's the same thing, right? But this is just so much faster. Let's move on. We're also gonna do examples where um, it gets a little bit more challenging. For example, have a look here, I'm not lying to you. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> and then look at that one. Sure, it's gonna get interesting, but don't worry. It's the, if you understand what you're doing so far, it doesn't really get much more challenging than that. So check here, the bases are the same, okay? So when the bases are the same, leave the base. Don't make it a four. That's, that's the part I've mentioned, that people always make mistakes. And then you just say two plus three, which is five. For those of you that are still comfortable with writing it out, what does this mean? It means two to the power of two. So two, two times, and then what is this? It's the number two, three times. 
And so if you see how many twos we have, we now have five. Okay, moving on. So here we have the number three. Now you see, now here it's gonna take you a long time if you still wanna go expand it. So what we rather do is we realize, ah, all of these are the same, okay. And also guys, later in this lesson, we're also gonna do ones with different numbers, like look at that, okay? So definitely you wanna see that. So the number three is the same everywhere. So we've got the same base. So when the base is the same, leave the base, then add the exponents. Five plus three is eight. Eight plus four, 12. 12 plus four, 16. 16 plus six, 22. So if you went and expanded each of these, you would have had 22 threes next to each other. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, now here's an interesting one because we've got the number three being repeated over there, but then it changes to a two. So what do we do? All you do is you just keep the three because when the bases are the same, leave the base, add the exponents, five plus three is, Eight, eight plus four is 12. Then just put a times over here and then just do this part. So when the bases are the same, leave the base, very good, and then add the exponents. What's four plus six? 10. Let's write that a bit better. Come on. Okay, there is your answer. Here we have the base as the same. So when that happens, leave the base. Just leave the base. Then add exponents. What's five plus three? Eight. Eight plus four? Twelve. Well done, guys. Let's do two more examples, okay, guys? So here we have minus two, but then it changes to minus three, but then we have a minus two again. So all of those minus twos have the same base. So when the bases are the same, leave the base. And so we leave the base as minus two. Now, what do we do with these exponents? We add them. So five plus three is eight. Eight plus two is 10. Now we can just say multiply, and then we look at the minus threes. So we've got minus three, and then you just add. Four plus three is seven. Seven plus two is nine. Well done if you're getting this. If you're not, that's okay too. You might just have to restart this lesson and build it up from the beginning and make sure you're not distracted. Make sure you don't have your phone next to you. If you're having to use your phone watching this, well, that's okay, but don't have your WhatsApp notifications popping up. That is impossible. You will never be able to understand this as quickly as if you just switch all of those notifications off and you just go into a full focus mode. All right, so let's move on. And remember, if you, if you want to, you could technically go and expand this. You could expand this one five times, you could expand this one three times, you could expand this one, but it's just gonna take very long, but it will work, okay? But it's just gonna, if you wanna do it just to practice, that's fine, but I would recommend you get um, used to doing it this way. Okay, now let's do one more example. So just look for all the same bases. So we've got a minus two, and a minus two, we've got five, and we've got minus three. So for the minus two, we then say five plus three, because remember when the bases are the same, leave the base, and then add the exponents. Say that to yourself. When the bases are the same, leave the base, add exponents. When the bases are the same, leave the base, add exponents. One more time. When the, I'm just joking. Okay, so if we then do the next one. So uh, let's do the fives. Doesn't really matter which one you do in which order. Okay, so the five is three plus two is five plus two is seven plus five is 12. There we go. And then there's the number minus three. And then we say four plus three, which is seven. How awesome is that, guys? You're doing proper exponents now. So well done if you understood this. If you still need to maybe watch this again, that is okay. That's absolutely fine.